Yo, ho, ho, what's poppin' though? So, this is episode one of Pokemon Showdown Pick My Team. So, we had some trouble getting a full team. Uh, there was 76 people that watched that first episode as of, like, right now. And only, barely anyone even, like, gave me a Pokemon. Some people were just being dicks and shit. It was like, six Cherubis and six Dittos and six Bidoofs. They didn't even re watch the video or read the description. So, I mean, I don't know if I'm even going to continue this anymore. Um, I, it's just like not being a Pokemon channel hurts. So, yeah. But anyways, at least we got one team going on. So we can at least try and see how this goes. And make sure if you do like this right now, then make sure you leave a like so it lets me know. Because if we don't get a lot of views or likes, I'm just going to stop this. It was a nice attempt. I worked so hard on the thumbnail and this overlay you see on the right. And it's just, it was like, it's annoying that I didn't even get that many requests and whatnot. So I don't even know if I'm going to continue it, but, but yeah. So anyways, uh, on the right, you can see the overlay, like I said, and you can see our team right now. We have Maximum King of Fighters, Togekiss, Mamters, Ditto, Cherubic Cherries, uh, Keldeo, Cosmic Xenons, Zapdos, Are You Brown XP's, Mega Medicham, and my... Extra drill. I just do extra draw on just so we have a stealth rocker and a rapid spinner. But uh yeah, so Toga Kiss is going to be a special wall as you can see his stats. And um Ditto is going to be just an annoying. I'm sure that Mamter, whenever he requested Ditto, he did not think I would actually use him. He did not know Ditto is actually used competitively. So yeah. Uh then we have uh Keldeo is life orb, and I threw taunt on there. So he can be an anti lead, and then he's got everything else normal. We have Zapdos, who is going to be our uh, anti setup. He's got Roar, Roost, Heat Wave. We have Mega Medicham, just going to be our physical attacker. And we got Exc Excadrill, who is, like I said, our stealth rocker and our um, rapid spinner. So this fly is pissing me off right now. Like, holy shit. It was just sitting on my computer screen. All right, let's go. I might have to whoop this thing's ass real quick, but we don't know. I don't know yet. So, we have two potential people that could set up. But since he has a Swampert, I feel like Tyranitar is not going to be one to set up. It's going to be the Swampert. So, I can already say that one might be the Mega. Yeah, that might that might be his Mega if he has one. Or it could be Heracross, but I feel like Heracross isn't. So, I, this is a really, 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 really tricky team right now because... He's got a lot of potential leads, a lot of potential megas, a lot of potential just, I don't know. Because uh, Tyranitar can be so many things, so many things, man. Uh, Swampert's pretty pretty common, though. He's probably going to be a stealth rocker. Just looking at his team right now, that's definitely going to be a stealth rocker. Uh, that could be a scarf, because since this is OU, Heracross can't... I mean, he's good, yeah, yeah. He's UU, so he could uh, hold his own in OU, but just scarf just seems like a better option in OU. Uh, so let's just go ahead and, like I said, anti lead Keldeo. And there goes a the Tyranitar. So I'm going to be, I'm just going to, uh, yes, I'm just going to go for the taunt because he really can't touch me. Uh, he can, but nothing's going to hurt too much. So here's a fly, here's a fly, here's a fly. Fuck, man. All right, well, uh, he switched out. He probably expected, oh my God, man. He probably expected the. The sacred secret sword, but I did not do it yet. So Gengar, hmm, this is nah. Let's just go into extra drill. Yeah, that was that was uh pretty obvious for him to do that. Because going for a poison move would be pretty stupid. So I don't even know why I did that. But anyways, I don't the poison I don't really have much for this Gengar, honestly. But uh let's just go ahead and do this. Yeah, um so we can get a free switch in to our what do we want what do we want to switch into togekiss can definitely take a sludge wave or a sludge bomb but it's not going to be very good like he's not going to take it too well um zapdos does not have he's physically defensive wahaha we do not have much for this gengar this is a problem let's go ahead thunder wave him we got, we're going to have to rely on hacks right now. So he has this Tyranitar. Um, I don't know why he did that. 
Oh, that thing is probably specs. That thing is specs. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Well, let's just see what we can do now. So this is his mega, and it was a stealth rocker. It was his stealth rocker. Anyways, um, if I set up my stealth rocks, I'm basically sacking my ex excadrill because I will not be able to spin them away. But I'm just gonna go ahead and set them up. It's all right. He has no spinner either, so uh, yeah. Uh, so what is that swamper? I guess the swamper is just straight up bulky. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the hydro pump in case the Gengar comes in again. We obviously don't want to get caught slipping. You feel me? We don't get caught slipping. Hydro pump. Yeah, I was gonna say either way. Either one should take him out. Just that secret sword is quad effective. So here comes a slack king. He's really fast. Let's find out how fast he is. I know the things are fast, and uh, but they do have an ability. One hundred. I'm base one hundred ten. So I should outspeed him. Wow! It took it like a fucking champ though well either way now he cannot do anything um so let's just go ahead and get our uh mega evolve we could still come back this this is still not completely out actually i'm just gonna mega evolve and psycho cut actually now i think about it, gengar only thing is the shadow ball but if he gets locked in the shadow ball, we can switch him. Now that we know that he's specs, we can. If he gets locked in, we can uh, go ahead and uh, what am I trying to say? Go into Togekiss, who will take the shadow ball like a champ. Because like I said, he's especially offensive. So yeah, what we have, what the team that we have right now left, we can honestly still win this because uh, the only strong attacker he has left is Gengar. Other than that, everyone else is bulky. Oh, Heracross too, I guess, but. Not as much as everyone else. Dude, this fucking fly, man. Heracross. Here comes the Heracross. So we... Oh, no. See, this is where he specs... Or, I mean, Scarf. So he, he will be faster. But he's going to use that Mega Horn. We're going to resist that shit. Uh, then we're going to... Heat Wave. Here comes a Swampert. See, good thing we didn't, uh, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and we, we're going to be faster than it. So I'm going to roar it out. Uh, he got the Toxic off. Damn. Oh, well. Uh, so now he's probably going to switch out. Do you think he'll switch out? Uh, I might just get a Roost off. Nah, I'm just going to go to our... <gasps> yep, yep. All right. So what we're going to do is... We're going to go ahead and air slash. He's going to toxic us too. I missed. He missed too though. Um, so with with this, he's probably physically defensive. So this, ah, wow. That didn't do much at all. It did not do much at all. What is this, man? I'm going to go back into this. I'm going to go ahead and get a roost off. Let's see what he tries to do. He's just going to do the waterfall, I'd imagine. Or he might even... He could predict a roost and go for an earthquake. That would be ridiculous. Ridiculous. Aqua Tail. That's retarded. Anyways, uh, he's probably going to do Aqua Tail again. So I'm just going to go back into here. Because we could probably take this out with a high jump kick. So, wow, that did a lot. This thing, I think this thing actually might be... Uh, no, he has Toxic. I was going to say he might be physical. But if he's, t if he's using... Uh, Ac or toxic then he's definitely not physical so it's not looking too good for us but I might just go for the psycho cut just to be safe man cause this is 90% accuracy you know what screw it what do we have to lose yep we have. We don't have much to lose right now we need all the we need everything we can get right now um so I can't do much to him cause this thing is scarfed you know I'm going to pull the double switch now. Um, now I'm going to go into Togekiss. Not sure what I'm expecting. Actually, I'm just going to go for the Roost. Nice. He missed. That would have that would have killed us, but Megahorn is such a dumb move, you know. Uh, so he is faster. 20%. We can take one. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Heat Wave. Whatever comes in is going to take some fairly good damage. Fairly good damage. So let this should take it out. This should take it out. Oh, or nah. 
Damn it, man. Well, we can take one more. We can take one more, unless that was a high roll. That went to 22%, so that was that was the high roll, I think. So let's just go ahead and go for a Thunderbolt. He, yeah, it's the safest play. Okay, well, either way, we got the fake out. We got the fake out. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, it, it was it was worth the risk, I guess, but uh, yeah. So even if he switches out, it doesn't matter because that thing is going to die. I should have done the Psycho Cut, though. I should have done the Psycho Cut. Uh, he might do the Sludge Wave, taking the Togekiss. Damn it, man. I should have done the Psycho Cut. I should have... I don't know. Why would he switch, though? Like, what the fuck, man? That was it. That was that was it. It is two versus one right now. But... Ah, uh, well. It was it was a good game. Good game. It was close. We, we almost got him. We almost got him. Um, with for our team being made randomly, we did pretty good. We did pretty good. All right, so uh, I in that Keldeo, the fact that I threw away my Keldeo, was that the no? That wasn't the match. Never mind. I'm thinking about a different match. Uh, this team looks like I need to get the rocks up real quick, so I'm just gonna straight up lead off with my Excadrill. And I'm going to straight up get up out with my Excadrill because I don't that thing can do a lot. Yeah, like I said. Uh, so, let's just go ahead and Thunderbolt. Yeah, let's just go ahead and Thunderbolt. This thing is pretty frail, so I should do some nice damage. We can two-hit KO it. He can't kill us with one more hit. So, there it is. Let me do that. Take him out. So that that's a sort of a threat. I don't even know what he was running because I feel like he was choice of some sort. But it's all right. So what's he going to do with this Charizard? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go in my Ditto actually so I can be faster than him. He can go ahead and Mega Evolve. Uh that's not good because now I can't do anything. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to go ahead and sack the Zapdos, actually. Because the only thing physical is a Garchomp, but we can, we have other things for Garchomp. So it's all right. My phone keeps vibrating. i got to put it on the floor. So there's that. Um, now I can do this and be faster than him. So now we can go ahead and go for the... Hmm. He could switch out. I'm just going to go for the safe Dragon Claw. Yep. Ditto coming through. Mamters, ditto coming through, bruh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So the team is, we are doing nice this battle. We're doing nice. So we should outspeed it. And this should win a KO. Jolteon is not, uh, is not bulky at all. It's frail. And... Um, we resist electric to anyways, so the only thing that could stop us right now is the extra drill But he thinks he I guess he does not know that I'm scarfed, so he's expecting that but um do I really want to sack this? Uh, I can take out the guard trump with Keldeo. No problem No problem at all or even with togekiss like he's not that much of a problem. He doesn't he, he can get iron head and poison jab So that might be a problem. So the Keldeo might be my best bet. I didn't even get to set up my rocks this battle I'm just going to go for the Dragon Claw. Yep. Oh, there it is. Look, I was about to switch out. I was about to switch out. This thing is about to sweep his whole team. Uh, the guard trump. Like I said, the only thing that can stop me is the Excadrill. But he's not. He thinks. I guess he doesn't know I'm scarfed. So he's thinking that. Um, There it is. So he's going to try this now. But I have nothing to lose, really. Nothing to lose. And look how much I did. Dude. Dude, that is ridiculous. Ditto just put in work, bro. Ditto put in work. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just finish it off. Finish this match off with Mega Metacham. Hopefully, we don't miss the high jump kick. Watch watch me miss it. I might just go for the... Uh, nah, I'm just going to... Uh, fuck it. Like, fuck it. There it is. We should be able to outspeed the Garchomp, do we? Garchomp is like base 92 speed. Yeah, we should be able to out outspeed it. And this should KO it, I think, because Metacham is power, man. Metacham is power. Uh, bop! Bop! Let's go! Let's go! Look at that. Look at that. This team is putting in work. That is nice. All right, so that's going to be it 
for pick my team number one. If you want to use the same team again, let me know in the comments. Leave a like if you want this series to end. Because if I don't get enough likes, I'm going to end the series right here. But uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys with this fucking fly next fucking episode if we have another episode. So yeah, peace.